Good morning, and welcome to WWDC. Our new release is iOS 15. It's packed with features that make the iOS experience adapt to and complement the way you use iPhone. FaceTime is a standout. We're introducing portrait mode, where we've taken inspiration from iPhone's stunning portrait photos. In FaceTime, portrait mode blurs the background and naturally puts the focus on you. We've created FaceTime links. Now you can generate a link for a FaceTime call and share it anywhere. And it's not just Apple devices that can use a FaceTime link to join your call. Your friends with Android and Windows devices can use your FaceTime link to join the call right from their browser. And even on the web, FaceTime calls are still end-to-end -end encrypted, so your privacy is never compromised. We love enjoying shared experiences, and so we built SharePlay. With SharePlay, you could bring that album right into the conversation. When you're on a call, all you need to do is press play in Apple Music, and you can choose to listen together. And like magic, high quality music playback will start in sync for everyone on the call. And you're still connected with FaceTime while listening. When you're on a FaceTime call, jump to a streaming app and press play. And boom, you and your friends are watching the same video totally in sync. SharePlay is designed to work with your other favorite apps and streaming services. And today, we're so pleased to announce that we're already working with some incredible partners. Watch blockbuster movies with your friends on Disney Plus and hit TV shows on Hulu. Catch originals from HBO Max and see your friends react live to a buzzer beater in the NBA app. Let's get started with a feature we call live text. Let's say I just finished a meeting with the team and I want to capture my notes from the whiteboard. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard, and an indicator appears here in the lower right. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. And now I can switch over to mail and paste those in, and then send this off to Tim. How cool is that? And this is great for photos already in your photo library and it understands seven languages, including simplified and traditional Chinese, and works across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. With the Apple Wallet app, we set out to replace your physical wallet. With iOS 15, we're bringing keys for your everyday places to wallet. Starting with where you live, we're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you work, just add your corporate badge and tap to enter your building or office. However, to be fully free of your physical wallet, there's one more thing we need to bring to iPhone, and that's your ID. So we're bringing identity cards to Apple Wallet. This fall, you'll just scan your driver's license or state ID in participating US states. It's that easy. Your ID information is now in Wallet, encrypted, and safely stored in the secure element, the same hardware technology that makes Apple Pay private and secure. And the TSA is working to enable airport security checkpoints as the first place you can use your digital ID. When you present your ID, you'll know what specific information is requested and securely presented. With just a tap, you're off to your flight. Our goal has always been to build the world's best map. But in iOS 15, maps will offer incredible new details for commercial districts, marinas, buildings, and so much more. We've added things like elevation, new road colors and labels, as well as hundreds of custom design landmarks for places like Coit Tower and the Golden Gate Bridge. And we built a beautiful new nighttime mode with a moonlit glow. And when driving on highways, Maps now renders overlapping complex interchanges in three-dimensional space, making it much easier to see upcoming traffic conditions or to know which lane you need to be in. And of course, we'll be bringing this driving experience to CarPlay later this year. And if you've ever exited a station, unsure of which direction you need to go, Maps will help get you back on track. Simply hold up your iPhone, scan the buildings in the area, and Maps will generate a highly accurate position, delivering detailed directions and augmented reality to help you complete your journey. With their annual vision quest postponed, our merry band of nomadic neighbors wandered aimlessly through the California hills before speed, and we call it 
universal control. I'm putting the finishing touches on an illustration here on my iPad. It's the last piece I need to finish a presentation that I have open on my MacBook. Now, I'll just set my iPad down next to my Mac. And check this out. Without any other setup, I'm going to simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad, and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. How cool is that? For our pros out there, universal control works with more than two devices. So let's add this iMac into the mix. Now I can use the trackpad on my MacBook to control my iMac as well. I can also switch to use my iMac's keyboard and mouse. And this is so cool. Watch this. Now I have a title text image I've been working on here in Procreate on my iPad. Now I'm going to take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut. Just like that. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered. So we've reimagined the browser. Some great new features coming to AirPods. Starting with Conversation Boost, which is designed to help people with mild hearing challenges stay more connected in conversations. Through computational audio and beamforming microphones, Conversation Boost focuses your AirPods Pro on the person talking in front of you, making it easier to hear and follow along in a face-to-face -face conversation. And to help you hear the conversation even better, you can also reduce the amount of ambient noise. Next, we have significantly improved how AirPods work in Find My. With iOS 15, you can locate your AirPods Pro and AirPods Max using the Find My network. Your AirPods simply send out a secure Bluetooth beacon that can be detected by other Apple devices. They can relay your AirPods location to the network and then back to your Find My app. And if they're nearby, just choose Play Sound. Listen for the chirp, whether they're in their case or out. And the new proximity view in the Find My app lets you know when you're getting close. To make it even less likely to lose your AirPods, you can now receive a separation alert to notify you if you leave your AirPods behind. With iPadOS 15, we're taking this versatility further, making iPad even more capable and more intuitive. And we started right on the home screen with widgets. They offer beautiful, glanceable information at just the right moments. And this year, we have a big update. Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. Here I am on the home screen. You can see that I already have a few widgets placed along the top. Let's start by adding a widget. I'll bring up the widget gallery. Here, you'll notice some new widgets, like the beautiful new Find My widget and the... And we brought the same ease of multitasking to apps with multiple windows. In Mail, I can touch and hold on this message to open it centered on my screen. But I want to save this email and come back to it later. So I can just swipe down to minimize it into a new area we're calling the shelf. The shelf gives me easy access to all open windows of an app. Let's go to Safari, and you'll see that the shelf appears automatically when I switch apps. I often have a lot of Safari windows open, many in split view paired with other apps. And now I can just tap to quickly switch between them. I can also add or remove windows right here from the shelf. And we've made the app switcher even more powerful. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. 